Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. We're here today to do a colouring shot. Excuse that piece of cell tape. Um, we're not colouring this one. I just thought I'd show you what I was doing. And this is in Hannah Carlson Seasons. So I'm doing this double page spread. And I'm using polychromos on this. So because I've got my polychromos out, we will be using that today. But we are actually colouring in... Excuse me. Selena Fenix festive magic fantasy Christmas colouring book. I got this one last year. I haven't done anything, but we're doing going to do this one, which is the bauble fairy. So she's got lots of baubles with her. So I've got my polychromos, got a stud litter, or how do you pronounce it, sharpener, and we are going to uh, colour this one. Well, we're going to start it today anyway. So I'm sorry this is a bit later than I anticipated. I've been very, very busy. As always, doing various things. So I'm back at work now, which is all right. Got to go, so I don't really like going to work. I'd rather stay at home with Jennifer because I have fun with Jennifer. Um... But yeah, so back at work. So that's four and a half hours out of my day. But you know, you kind of need to earn money to live. So it helps with the Christmas presents. Gosh, they're arriving every five minutes these days. So I'm doing that. I'm still trying to do eBay. I had a bit of a disaster a couple of weeks ago when I sent the wrong items to two customers. I've now had both items back and uh, one customer's had hers and she was happy. And it had been such a long time that I messaged the one buyer saying, look, I don't know what's happening. I still haven't received the item back. Do you want to wait a little bit longer or do you want me to refund you? Um, I don't mind. Whatever you want to do is fine by me. And she said, oh, I'll wait a bit longer. Um, that came back, that message arrived this morning. So I'm very happy that she did that because I went out today, down to my mum's to take my dad to what? And because I had the day off work today as annual leave, using up a bit of annual leave that's left, I wanted to do some eBay photos. So I said to mum, if you can have uh, for two hours so I can do some photographs, that would be great. So mum and dad had her for a couple of hours and I went to pick her up and we went and uh, went down to Watt to buy some Christmas decorations, some bits, bought a battery operated lighty, light, light up snow globe where it changes colour for Jennifer and it's on the mantelpiece by a cot so she can see it. Um, so it's great. There's two, you can get two. I've, I got the reindeer. I'll probably get the, snow, the snowman next time I go. Which will probably be next week. And I'll... Uh, so, we did that. And then we went to McDonald's and had something to eat. Well, I, I got takeout. But when I got back... That item had arrived, so it had finally got back to me. So it's now been, oops, that didn't like that. It's unusual for polys to break, that one did. I've had a pro, I think they've probably been bashed because Jennifer's been trying to stand on the tin. That's it. Um, so yeah, um, good news is that it's it got came back today and it's packed up. And I'll be dropping it off tomorrow because I still haven't got my car. So I'm still driving my dad's. So tomorrow I will take them to Morrison's shopping. Friday I will take them to Lidl's shopping. And then, but tomorrow we'll, I'll pick them up straight after work. And then we'll pop to the spa post office and I'll drop them off I have had a sale so on Friday 
I'll be going to the spa again. It's only because it, it came in after it got dark, so I thought I'm not going to go and get it now. I hate going up there in the dark. It's it's doable, but it's just not very nice in the dark. You know, there's no light in the shed yet. There will be eventually. I'm going to have a, sh a, a light put in. And uh, I'll be able to switch that on before I leave the house. And then I can just take the torch up so I can see what I'm doing and it'll be better like that so it's not a big sale but it's still a sale I'm happy I'm at the moment just trying to make the fees that I incurred last month which I probably will but even if I had a month where I didn't overall I'm in profit for the year it's not a huge amount of profit, but it is profit. Okay. Which is medium. It's just a matter of just cracking on. <sighs> I've got a Coke here. Well, it's Pepsi actually, but. So yesterday I didn't colour at all. I had a day off, I was not in the mood to colour yesterday for some reason and I just could not be bothered with it so I uh, just left it and had a day off and then today they were streaming football on Amazon Prime, so they were streaming the um, Premier League. They've got a few matches, not a huge amount, but they've got a few. And I said to Paul, you can, you know, he mentioned it, and I said, oh yeah, they're playing on this day. The team he follows is Man U. And I said to him, well, put it on. I'll, I'll just sit there and listen to an audio book and bit of colouring so I was working on the Hannah Carlson page from Seasons so while he was watching the football which is what I like to do I mean why is one of the reasons I started colouring was he was watching the football and so I'd have something to do I thought oh, do you know what I'm gonna try a bit of colouring and I got a book and I coloured in it and I was enjoying it and I was listening to Dark Matter that went back then. Today I was listening to Terry Pratchett's Moving Pictures which is one of my favourite Terry Pratchett's because obviously it's based on Hollywood and I'm a big Hollywood fan so for me it was really a great one to to watch so Yeah, I mean, Hollywood for me is the way to go with these books. I love it. Um, I've got to be honest, I've been very naughty. I've bought another colouring book. So I've already got three new ones. One is Colour in Heaven. One's a Relax with Art. One's a Hannah Lynn. And I've ordered um, a Christmas mandala book. I can't, is it, 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 I can't think of the name, but you'll see it at some point. Um, very popular artist at the moment, does a lot of mandalas. Been very big on... YouTube but I can't think of her name or and I haven't got my phone so I can't connect. That's coming tomorrow. Um, I, I am terrible for if I order something for someone for Christmas I stick a colouring book in my cart as well and have another book. So I'm very naughty. I shouldn't do it, but I do. And I know that Paul's got me for Christmas the Colour in Heaven subscription with the pencils. No, the pencils they were advertising were the Faber Castell Gold Farbers. They haven't got them, so there's an equivalent value of pencils coming, but I don't I don't actually know what they are. So that'll be fun. So 
actually we'll find out Christmas time I guess I don't mind so there she's looking rather nice isn't she she's getting there we're just gonna try and blend it in now with the light color I hope you're all great um, I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers I'm so pleased that you're joining me on my colouring uh, journey like I said sometimes I do do other hobbies on this channel but it's it's mostly colouring sometimes they'll be reading um, like I said I am going to start up a cinema channel when I can think of a name for it but do you know what I haven't got a clue at the moment so so there's another one I want to do in this book, which is actually in the Colour in Heaven Christmas book as well. But because it's in here, I want to do it in here. And I've got four copies because the when they printed the Colour in Heaven one, this is last year's one. Now they printed it twice for some reason. And it's, let's see if I can find it. There's some really nice ones in here. But I don't know where it is. It's just different and it's this one of the dragon right in the candle I just thought it was really nice but I thought for, for, for this we'd do this one the bauble fairy I like baubles it's a good excuse to get lots of glitter out we've got some more glitter pens come in to try so I think she looks lovely there that's her done I think next we'll do, I don't know what to do next, we'll do her lips, so we'll give her some red lips. Mm. Can you see? Yeah. So yes, today I managed to photograph, how many did I photograph? I photographed 16 items. Uh, mostly dresses. I, don't, I had so many dresses because what I tend to do is I uh, just I photograph all the tops, then all the skirts, and all the dresses. But I get so many tops because that's what I mostly get. When I buy dresses, they just sit there and build up. So I'm going to use this red on her dress as well because I like this red. It is um, called Madder. Mm, Madder. Um, so yeah, I uh, got that done. I've put five up today, which is great. And I've um, got another seven, I want to say ready to go so tomorrow I shall start uploading those new photographs and then I'll um, once I've uploaded them I'll, I'll measure some items for I'll measure I didn't do any six did loads last night I'll measure six tomorrow night I'll try and get them up Be, it'll just be nice to get all the um, get some listings up. It's got some nice stuff to get up. So, what are you all colouring? I know John over at the profile colourist is colouring from the Emily Oberg book, Sagnarok, something like that. I don't know what it's called because I don't have that one, unfortunately. I do have the Fairy Tales one. And he's doing a lovely job in that. He's doing the Father Christmas, which is nice. I'm still colouring the um, the Crayola one that you saw in my whips. I have not finished that yet. So I've still not finished that. 
Um, I've just not been feeling in the mood to, to colour it yet. I will get back to it at some point, I'm sure. So. It'll definitely done before Christmas or before the end of December. After Christmas, um, although I can still, I will still do Christmas pictures, it becomes more of a free month then. So after that, I'm going to do one of the the Hannah Lynn books. I probably do one of the Women's Girls at Work with the markers, and I'll probably do that on camera because it'll make a change from the Christmas stuff. But uh, yeah, and. Uh, I'm just trying to think what else has been going on. So I should be finally getting my car on Saturday, which is the worst possible day because it's the day of my work's Christmas party. And for a while I thought I wasn't going to go because I've been waiting for my dress to come. And it had been stuck with my Hermes, a courier firm, for days. And he said he kept trying to deliver it, but of course I'd been out various places because, you know, you've got to go to work and you've got to go out and can't stay in all the time when they say it comes between eight and six we've got lives and I know he normally comes around three o'clock but unfortunately he tried on Friday and I was out because I had to take my mum shopping he tried on Saturday which is annoying because it's not official it's not an official working day it's the weekend and then I, th I thought right Monday I'll go straight home from work I'll pick Jennifer up from Nana's from my Nana's go straight home from work and hopefully he'll come and then I can get on with the day no, did he hell. It was gone eight o'clock when he came down. It was literally, we put to Jennifer to bed and we'd just come down and there was a knock at the door. So it was around half seven, quarter to eight. And that was him. And I was so relieved though to get my dress. Because I'm like, phew. And I've just got to ring and see if I can get a taxi to the Celtic Manor now. Because I'm obviously I'm not driving because I want to have a drink, so I won't drink and drive. I, I last time I went to the Celtic Manor, I did drive, and I had like half a glass of wine, and then I drank Coke, which is ridiculous. So I'm going to get a taxi. Um, my friend Sue, her son's a taxi driver, and um, we're going to leave together, and he'll drop me home after. He'll either drop me home first, or he'll drop her home first it just really depends I'm just looking out for a darker red this one I think that I was using on the other one <laughs> um so it's a very nice because if we go it's a black tie event so I've got a, a lovely full length black dress with a beaded top and it wasn't over expensive it was 30 pounds down from 60 or from Debenhams and it's absolutely gorgeous and it, it fits. I was thinking it's either going to be too big or too small because I've got big boobage and I'm not going to lie, I have. I thought this is going to either, it's going to be too tight and I was thinking it's going to have zips and it's going to have a zip down the left side which is one of my bugbears, I hate it because I'm left handed. So obviously putting a lift on the, the left hand side makes it very, very difficult for me because it's just the wrong way around. But when I took it out of the packaging and went to put it on, I was like, oh, it's got an elasticated back instead. It's not. It's not um, zipped at all. So I put it on. I didn't have a bra on when I tried it on. I thought this is going to be too big. It's too big. It's too big. And then when I put it on with a bra, it was just, it was still big, but it's comfortable you know it's not baggy it's, it fits right and for me it's got to fit right because it, it, I got to be comfortable the smaller size would have been far too small definitely far too small for me so to get the um, that size was the right call so. I 
I like, I do like Selena Fennec. I love her books. This is another lovely one. So for me, Christmas colours are red, gold and green. You do get silver. A lot of silver at Christmas, but I like red, gold and green. Um, obviously it also sounds like a song. <laughs> but there you go. Oh yeah, this is nice. Goes there. I do like the polychromos. I don't use them enough. I just started using them again this week on the um, Hannah Carlson book because they had the right colour in there for the pine leaves. I've actually got one called pine and I put two colours together. I put pine and chrome oxide green and it looks really nice. So I'll do a bit more of that when I, I feel like it when I'm in the mood. So tomorrow night if I'm sitting watching TV I might want to colour something else. It, it, it really depends on, on the mood. So now we're just going to go in and make this a little bit. How's that looking? It's looking alright now. So I have been watching a lot of colouring videos lately. There are a few other videos I want to watch. Like Days with Jordan the Lion. But I haven't watched him lately. But he's put one up about Joe Maggio And his childhood home and grave. So he's obviously in San Francisco at the moment. So I want to go and watch that one before bed. So I really do love Christmas colouring books. I didn't do Christmas in July this year because I was overwhelmed I was hardly doing any colouring or reading because of it. Um, being back at work and being so ill as well over the course of the year has been a nightmare for me. So now I'm, I'm better and I'm kind of able to colour a bit more. I'm, I'm making time to colour for a little bit in the evenings if I'm in the mood. So, and if I'm not, then I don't like last night, I didn't want to. So, like I said, I just watch some TV and watch other people colouring, which is always fun. So, yeah, I was saying about getting my car. Yeah, I had a text from my mechanic friend who's who's selling it to me he's saying it's all ready and I should be able to have it on Saturday he's got something to do with it on uh, Friday during the day he's got the day off to sort it out but Saturday's a hard day because I'm having my hair cut first in the morning and I am not can't remember what time it is they do send me a text to say oh don't forget your hair appointment's at this time and I'll be like great and then, uh, of course, I'm going out then in the evening, so I'm not going to have a lot of time to get it, so. And I think he's at work till two. So, we'll have to see. I know it's, I'm, mostly it's going to, so I'm probably just going to drive it home and park it outside the house with the car seat in it. Cause I need to adjust the straps in the car seat. And then, um, I'll drive it properly on uh, Sunday when we go shopping, which will be nice. I finally have a car and dad can have his back yay and then on Sunday hopefully I'll do another colouring chart but hopefully do one before then if I can um, but definitely do one on Sunday and tell you all about the Christmas party so I have been reading when I can 
And um, one of the books I, I read a lot, and I've read this several times, is a book called The Kenneth Williams Diaries. So, for those of you who don't know, Kenneth Williams was a British actor who was born in 1926. Um, and he was famous primarily for the Carry On films. He, he was um, in very many, in, in the first and, and many of the other Carry On films, usually playing the uh, object of lust for Hattie Jakes. And um, he did a lot of other things. He did a lot of commercials, a lot of theatre work. Um, and what else did he do? Um, Willow the Wisp was one of his fav famous things. If you go onto YouTube, I'm sure it's on there. If you just Google or search on YouTube for Willow the Wisp, you'll find it. He was a comedian. He was very camp. He, obviously, he was homosexual. Not that I got a problem. I've always had a thing for... Him, I felt always had a lot of empathy is, is what I mean for him. He died in 1988 and more than likely he killed himself though the coroner left an open verdict. Um, he'd been suicidal for years to be fair. Um, I'm just going to get another, sorry, that red back again, that dark red. Uh, he had been suicidal for, for years on and off. And uh, but was a very, very funny, very dry and funny man. Very, very good at ad-libbing. Very, very funny. Anyway, a long time ago, in the 1990s, some of you probably weren't even born then. I know, I'm old. Um, a boyfriend of mine at the time, named Simon, who now lives in Australia with his wife and kid, he's a musician, professional musician, gave me for my birthday a copy of the Kenneth Williams diaries and at the time I was like why is he giving me this I've never said I like Kenneth Williams um and I didn't read it for years and years and years I didn't read it and then one day I was just looking around for something to read and <coughs> saw the book on the shelf and thought you know what I'm gonna have a look at this you know see what he's he said you know because I liked him as an actor and I mean, we grew up with the Carry On films in our house, you know, every, we, you did in the UK, it was just one of those things, you grew up with them. So, I will get to the point in a minute of this story. I, I, I read it and I loved it and for a while I made a point of reading it every single year. Every year I read that book. There we are. Um, and I was reading it this morning, just reading a, a page and I got to January 19... 1976, so, and he's a, he started the day, whatever day it was, with um, blah, 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 he's going on all day, basically. Arrived in Tenerife at four o'clock-ish. Coach took us on a roundabout trip to lots of different hotels, so it was a long transfer. I arrived at the Las Vegas at ten past six and I'm like, the Las Vegas? The Las Vegas, that's the hotel I like, that's the hotel I stay in. Can't be the same one, surely. Um, he went on to say how he was bothered by people but because he was famous he always was bothered by people wanting autograph and recognising him and that. It was one of the bugbears, he said, of being famous, a star without star money. And he said about the Spanish, how much affection they show the children, which is very, very true. How much he loved the hotel and that it was, that he told the manager that it was fantastic. Um, that he had a balcony overlooking the sea. So he had a room with a balcony overlooking the sea. And it was the best holiday he'd ever had. This is up to this point. Obviously he probably had better ones afterwards, I'm assuming. How time I'm thinking, my Las Vegas. Um, and apparently the hotel we stay in was built in 1962 and then refurbed in 2004. So, Kenneth Williams stayed in the, the what is now called the Catalonia Las Vegas, was then just the Las Vegas. And he stayed in a room facing the ocean with a balcony. We've stayed in two of those. So I can't help wondering what room he stayed in. Unfortunately, on this occasion, he doesn't mention the room number. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. It's very possible he did in his original diary, but these are edited out. Um, but then he said how... 
I don't know where I'd got to in my story because the thing stopped and I hadn't noticed because I haven't got the flip out. Um, but yeah, so he had a room overlooking the sea on a balcony one. Um, we've had rooms overlooking the ba overlooking the sea with a balcony twice. He'd been telling the manager how wonderful he thought the hotel was and how pleased and how happy he was to stay at the, the Las Vegas and all the time I'm thinking this is my Las Vegas, this is the hotel I like to stay in uh, and of course then you start to wonder well I wonder what room he stays in, did he stay in one of the rooms we've stayed in because we've stayed in three rooms there now, three different rooms, two of which were facing the, the um, ocean with balconies, so it's possible, I and mean, there are a lot of rooms. But it is quite amazing to think of him staying in the hotel we stayed in and him enjoying it very much. So I was quite blown away by that. It was, um, yeah, it really, it amazed me really. So, I was quite chuffed to think, oh, for my hotel. I hope that we get to go there again next year. Paul said, do you want to go to Tenerife again? I'm like, yeah. I said she was good as gold on the hotel transfer. She'll be older. She'll have her own seat on the plane. I'd go again. I love that hotel. I mean, we might not go abroad next year at all, but it'd be nice to. But we can't book it because Paul needs to um, sort his passport out. He needs a new one. So I just... I'm enjoying this. I'm just doing these and she's got some on there but that's going to be slightly different so I've decided what colour I'm doing the top part yet so you can't see what I'm doing I'm just down here colouring in the um, holly leaves they're not very dark I'm going to go over them with a darker colour in a bit but I just want to I'm getting quite tired so we go, we'll be finishing soon and we'll do another one as soon as we can, do some more. So I can see there being lots of glitter on this page. Get my stickles out. I haven't got them out yet, but I can see me putting some glitter on her at the top of her dress. Um, possibly in her hair. Might use my wing castella there. On the baubles. Uh, you've got to have it on the baubles, haven't you? Oh yeah, you've got to have glittery baubles. So Jennifer's back at nursery. She loves nursery. She was so cute the other day. She, um, I went in, I was just watching her for a little bit and she had a book and she was looking through a book. She was sitting on her own. Some of the kids were sitting on their own looking for books because um, it's their free play time. And I, I called her and went, Jennifer. And she looked up and saw me. She brought the book over. And I went, where you go there? You got a book? She went, it's mine. I went, it's not yours. You've got to leave it here, sweetheart. That's a new thing now, is everything's hers. So, let's say, oh look, I've got, I've got this pen. Oh, uh, mine! It's mine. So that's her newest thing, is everything belongs to her. That's her granddad teaching her bad habits. But, uh, she loves him. So I've got to be honest, although I've done two days work, it was really nice to have a day off. <laughs> oh, that's my phone pinging. It's probably nothing exciting. Probably a Facebook notification. There we go. That's all of those now. All right, let's get the darker one. I think we need this darker one, which is... Juniper green. I said I don't plan what colours I'm going to use. I'm not a person that plans things out. The only one I can see kind of finished is the one in Seasons, which is why I wanted to do it this year. 
and that's just because I know I'm going to do the background and things like that but we will have to see We'll just finish these green leaves and then we'll call it a day because that's a good 30 minutes then I think. I hope everybody's nearly ready for Christmas or they're getting close and they've got everything ordered or <coughs> done their shopping. I have got one or two things left to get and I'm done but I've got most of it we've got all the Jennifer's we had all those a while back and I've got mum and dad's now I've got pretty much everything for Paul I think and I've got um The only thing I've got to get is my secret Santa for work and I might have a look in Morrison's tomorrow when I'm in there with my mum. Um, um, something for my dad. Something extra. Chris, when he comes home, he always does a big Amazon order at Christmas and we take out what we're going to give him, me and mum. And then anything that's left, he gets after his birthday, his birthday's Boxing Day. So anything that's left, he can't have until after Boxing Day. Or till Boxing Day and then he can have it. But it's, it, he knows what he's got then. And we just pick then and we put the money back in his, ba in his bank account. So really we don't really give him anything, we might as well just give him the money really, but he likes having something to open. That's why he likes giving presents. I mean it's no different really than me having my Amazon wish list. I have an Amazon wish list and I send send him the link and then he goes and buys stuff off of it and then once we've got through Christmas I cut it off, uh, I take off what he's bought, I delete it off. So it's not on there for the next time and um, the next time it gets used then is in June for my birthday and him and mum have a chat about what to get me for my birthday and I uh, it works for us I don't know I know what's on that list so I know I'm gonna I know what I'm gonna get but I don't know exactly what I'm gonna get I know I'm gonna get something off of the list so at the moment there are colouring books on there there are colouring pencils on there there are mostly books on there there are a few other bits and pieces but not a lot because I don't keep too much on there because he always wants me to update it and put new stuff on and I'm like well yeah but I still want the stuff that's already on there so it can be a bit oh, I want the stuff that's on there give me that oh, I drink a coke it's bedtime and I'm drinking Pepsi I got something to do first. I'll write my journal, my diary, before I go to bed. And I'll probably watch that Joe DiMaggio thing either tonight or tomorrow. She looks good, doesn't she? Give so. more to that. So I'm looking forward to Chris coming home. He'll probably be home next weekend. So not this weekend coming, but uh, either Friday the 13th or Saturday the 14th, he says, which is fine. We usually pick him up from Newport Station. Well, I expect Dad will pick him up and I'll just go down there. So I might go to Newport that day because I want to have a look around Newport. We've got a secret Santa at work. I hate things like that because you never know what to get people. 
you know. I mean, I'm pretty obvious because people know what I like. I like colouring books and I like photography and I like movies. So if you're getting a sensible present, it's quite easy to find me something. But I just don't know what to get the person I've got. I like the person we've got very much, but I don't know what that person is into. Well, I kind of know what that person's into, but it's not something I can buy that person. So it's a bit of a pain. You know, it is hard sometimes. I'm just going to go back around these edges. So they're a little bit darker. And I think we're pretty much done. Yeah, that looks nice, doesn't that? That one does. I'll do this one up here, which you can't see. over here. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. We're going to call it a day after I've finished these. And then um, next time we come in we'll try and do her, her hair. We'll do the berries and we might do a bit more of the dress if I can think of what I want to do with it because I haven't thought of it yet. Um, I want to say thank you to those of you who are watching who have left comments on my completed pages and saying how pretty they are. I do appreciate all your comments. I do try and answer them and um, I will always give them a heart if I've uh, liked them. So thank you very much. Uh, yeah, big thank you to all the new subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah. <coughs> there we go. That's done. We're going to leave it there. Let's have a look at what we've done. So I'll just zoom out. Here she is looking all glorious in her beautiful dress. Um, the Bauble Fairy from Selena Fennec. That's who we're working on today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Share it with your friends if they're into colouring. And if you're not already a sub sub subscriber, please subscribe. And if you are and you haven't hit the notification bell, go hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I do put up a new video. I am trying to put up more. Sometimes it's very hard for me to do more than one um, a week. Sometimes I can do three or four. It really just depends on how busy I am and uh, what's going on. So I'll see you all in a couple of days with the next one. I do have a flip through coming very soon. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed talking to you and I'll see you all soon, again soon. Thanks for watching, happy colouring, and bye guys.